Hello, beautiful people. We are at November 23rd, 2022, and I just want to talk about being a loser and feeling like a loser. I think it's really important that we all look at ourselves and we understand it's okay to feel different things, and it's okay when people call us different things, and it's okay to write scripts which allow us the opportunity to really look at ourselves in a different light. Me, I've been gifted in this lifetime a little bit with the archetype of being a loser, at least the archetype of being an outsider. Being a loser ties in with being adopted. As soon as you're adopted, you get all these labels and whatever. And I think it's important uh, to look at that and really examine that. And sometimes I'm sure all of us feel like a loser. Sometimes we miss a job that we really think we're going to get or we have some really bad rejection. I'm great at creating scripts that give me an opportunity to feel rejection, to feel like a loser, to learn a lesson the hard way. I'm really good at that. I'm going to keep learning through all of the adversity of life. And so I really wanted to bring this to people because I feel like so often we get really down on ourselves. And if you're anything like me, you really have learned to deal with some of these difficult processes in different ways. So some of the really great gifts that you get uh, as somebody that's constantly has that opportunity to reflect or, or for society to see as a loser, I have great optimism. I have great tenacity. I can bounce back in a heartbeat. If I'm the first one on the floor, I'll be the first one standing back up too. And that's okay. You know, we all have strengths, weaknesses, lessons that we're trying to learn in this life. And we also have gifts. And some of the gifts of the world or society calling you a loser, they're profound. Kindness. The amount of kindness that people tell me I have. I don't, I don't know. I just try to love everyone unconditionally. Sometimes people draw on me too hard and I have to let them go. But in general, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to feel like a loser because that's what allows me to excel and redefine myself and grow. If you, someone thinks they're a winner their whole life, how much growth did they really do from start to finish? Almost none. When I was growing up playing hockey, we had most improved. I think that's a fantastic way to identify how the journey influences us through the process of life. There's such beauty to cultivate. And so next time you feel like a loser, I really want you to look at that. And I want you to really grow from that. Because I think you really can grow from that. And the way that you deal with adversity really says a lot about you. Me, because of the contrast in my life, I'm really all over the place as a philosopher, as an old soul. You, you really couldn't put me in a box if you tried. You could try to put me in a loser box, and then all of a sudden I'd be standing behind you like, get in the box. <laughs> because that's just who I am. I'm here to surprise you. I'm here to inspire you and grow you. And uh, I just happen to be uh, wearing the biggest loser jersey there is. And these guys are awesome. So isn't that really cool, too, uh, to look at that and say, whoa, what is it that makes someone a loser? And... What's being a loser really mean? I think it's a really contemporary state. I think it's a state of mind. It can be a feeling. But what we do next really defines whether or not we're losers or not. I find society really helps us position ourselves as losers because society wants to position you as a slave with no voice. So, of course, I'm going to take my power from you. And I'm going to call you a loser. I'm going to call you someone less than me. But... We're all beautiful, blessed souls with beautiful, blessed gifts. There is no losers among us. I don't have judgment. So as I was thinking about this video, I was thinking, you know, what, what really would make someone a loser? And I look at people throughout my life and, you know, some people don't produce as much as others. Some people, you know, they seem to get stuck in ruts and they're just kind of living. I wouldn't describe any of those people as losers. I wouldn't call you a loser if you had a job that I wouldn't want for 20 years. None of that. So there is no losers. There is just the opportunity to feel like a loser, to identify as a loser. I have a lot of tough love for myself. So when I'm not producing, 
it's easy for me to feel like a loser. I think a lot of people feel like a loser when they're not making as much money as they think they should or they need. So when business is slow, entrepreneurs have an opportunity to feel like a loser. Artists, when they're not getting the amount of likes they like or they think they need on Facebook, there's their opportunity to feel like a loser. Next time you feel like a loser, I want you to not feel like a loser because you're fantastic and you're going to take the adversity and you're going to appoint yourself to greater opportunity and responsibilities. When nothing works, there's a great opportunity to say, all right, tried that. Now we're going to go in the complete opposite direction. And isn't that a beautiful thing? They say when you hit rock bottom, well, at least now you have a solid foundation to build yourself on. Isn't that fantastic? And so I was feeling like a loser recently, but you know what? I'm not a loser. Regardless of what society says, society could say, oh, you live with your parents at 30, you're a loser. Um, let's think about the contrast there. No, I have cultivated a really loving relationship with my parents, which allows me to benefit from living with them. It's their benefit. It's my benefit. You don't know the details of the accounting, but I assure you working together is always a positive thing. Not having a wife or girlfriend. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to have a wife or girlfriend. Am I a loser because I don't? You can be the judge if you want, but there's always a positive. There's always a silver lining to these things. Maybe I'm not ready for my wife. Maybe I still have to improve myself quite a bit. And that's what the beauty of rejection really does for me. Is It says, you're not good enough. Go get better. Nothing wrong with that. I could always be better. We all could be better. When will we be good enough? Universe will tell me. Universe will put me on the stage. And I further want to look at, as society calls us losers right now, perhaps, or calls anyone a loser right now, because they don't have a million likes on Instagram and they don't have three cars or, you know, a giant house or perfect family or anything, you know, that is what society says makes us winners and losers right now. But society is crumbling. So what makes someone a winner or loser tomorrow? You ever heard the idea that the meek inherit the earth? Well, guess what, motherfuckers? <laughs> Sorry for my French. But what makes you a winner today is not making you a winner tomorrow. And so you really have to look at yourself and the way that you deal with adversity and realize who are the true winners and losers in the future. Let's just get rid of the whole idea. <laughs> How about this? If you're alive and smiling, if people respect you and love you, how about those are some ideas to look at whether or not we're losers. So, you know, subscribe to this life as long as you can, as long as you want. And let's just be thankful. And let's not worry about winners and losers. Let's just be our best. Let's compare ourselves to ourselves. I'm going to produce more. I'm going to be a better person. I'm going to lift more weights. I'm going to do what I can to be kinder, to be more understanding. And that's how, for me, being a loser is going to make me a winner. So, all you losers out there, here's a gold star. Go be a winner. Thank you so much for your time listening. I hope this was helpful. Much love.